Hello everyone, I am Dr. Surbhi Walia, a dentist from Delhi. Along with that, I am an influencer and a mom to two beautiful daughters, which is four years old and almost two years old. So I am very happy uh, with the response that we received on a previous session on teething. Uh, we covered topics like what is teething, when does it happen, what does the child goes through, how can the parent identify that the child is teething and how can we manage teething. So a lot of parents have asked us so many questions regarding the same topic uh, regarding what their child is currently going through. I am so happy to be able to answering all those questions. So now I will start taking up uh, questions one by one and answer to all the queries related to them. Let's begin now. So the first question is by Shubhangi Bhatnagar. She asks, what to do for when baby is suffering from fever or motions due to teething? My daughter refused even food. So Shubhangi, loss of appetite, fever, diarrhea, restlessness and irritable behavior are all signs of teething. So if the child is having severe diarrhea and fever, you must consult your pediatrician. However, if you feel that the child can be managed at home, then you're good to go. Uh, if the child is refusing food, you can offer apple or guava, uh, which helps in satisfying the natural desire to uh, bite on hard objects. Along with this, it also helps in soothing the gums. I hope I've answered your question. So let's move on to the next question. The next question is by Chitra. She asks, is the teething and colic related? When the child is teething, they happen to cry a lot. And in this process, they happen to gulp a lot of air, which results in colic. So gripe water has been highly recommended to ease out colic during the process of teething because it is alcohol free and sugar free. So Chitra, I hope I've answered your question. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is by Lakshmi. She asks, what to do when the teeth grow? Our baby is suffering from motion, etc. So Lakshmi, uh, when the teeth are growing, it is very important to maintain their oral hygiene as well as general body hygiene. Uh, I, it is highly recommended to clean the gums with cotton and water or a wet cotton cloth after every meal or milk intake. Uh, additionally, uh, it is very important to give adequate amount of vitamin, minerals and proteins to the kid to increase their resistance. Uh, during the process of teething, children happen to cry a lot which results in gulping of air which thereby leads to colic. So it is highly recommended to use Woodward's gripe water to ease out colic during the process of teething. I hope I have answered your question. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is by Samiksha. She asks, when do we start baby brush teething? Oral hygiene maintenance should be started as soon as the baby is born. Uh, when the baby is born, parents should make sure to clean the gums with cotton and water or a wet cotton cloth. Brushing should be started as soon as the baby uh, starts showing the eruption of her, its primary teeth without a delay. I hope I've answered your question. Let's move on to the next question. So the next question is by Prabha. She asks, how do we know that toddler is having a cavity? So Prabha, the child will not show any signs or symptoms when the child starts to develop a cavity. It is for the parents to uh, keep checking and look out for any black or brown spots on the teeth. Uh, the child will start showing signs only when the cavity has progressed enough to cause trouble to the child. So it is advisable for the parents to keep checking for any brown or black spots on the teeth. Also, it is advisable to uh, go for a regular dental checkup once the teeth start erupting. I hope I've answered your question. Let's move on to the next one. So the next question is by Tiny Influencer IU. 
दे आस्क वेन शुड वी स्टार्ट ब्रशिंग बेबीज टीथ लाइक आई मैंशन बिफोर ब्रशिंग ऑफ द टीथ शुड बी स्टार्टेड एज सुन एज द फर्स्ट टूथ इराप्स द ब्रश एंड द टूथ पेस्ट शुड बी डिसाइडेड अकॉर्डिंग टू द एज ऑफ द चाइल्ड देर मैनी ओवर द काउंटर टूथ पेस्ट अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट एंड द ब्रिसल ऑफ द टूथ ब्रश शुड बी अल्ट्रा सॉफ्ट वेन चूजिंग फॉर द चाइल्ड आई होप आई आंसर दियर क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बाय शिल्पा वर्मा शी आस्क do kids get cold during teething so shilpa uh, cold does not have any advocated association with teething however fever is a very common sign of teething so cold can be an additional symptom of fever when the child is teething let's move on to the next question uh, next question is by bhavisha she asks when to start brushing baby's teeth again the same question so bhavisha maintenance of oral hygiene should be started as soon as the baby is born the gums should be cleaned with cotton and water or a wet cotton cloth after every meal or milk intake the brushing can be started as soon as the child shows the eruption of the first uh, primary tooth or the milk tooth uh, the brush and the toothpaste can be decided according to the age of the child there are many over the counter toothpaste available in the market i hope i answered your question let's move on to the next one so the ninth question in row is by imama she asks when should we start brushing baby's teeth i have already answered uh, this question in the previous one uh, so let's move on to the next one So the next question is by Anisha Diaries. She asks, "My baby is one year old. Can I start baby brush teething?" Absolutely, Anisha. Uh, the brushing of the teeth should be started as soon as the uh, first primary tooth or the milk tooth erupts. So you do not have to wait for the child to turn one year old. In fact, the maintenance of the oral hygiene should be started as soon as the baby is born. So it is time for you to start brushing your baby's teeth with the age appropriate toothbrush and toothpaste. I hope I've answered your question. Let's move on to the next one. So the next question is by Vijay Lakshmi. She says, uh, "Is it safe for a child to give toys or things when they want to bite them?" So Vijay Lakshmi, there are certain teething toys that have been advocated Uh, that not only satisfy the natural desire of the child to uh, chew on hard objects uh, but also stimulate the gums and uh, it promotes the smooth and painless eruption of the teeth uh, apart from teething toys uh, non sweetened rusk can also be given uh, a toasted bread can be given that promotes gingival stimulation a uh, fruit such as apple and guava can also be given uh, they not only help in satisfying the natural desire to bite on hard objects uh, but they also help in developing a taste for fruits so in the times when uh, they have loss of appetite during the time of teething uh, they these fruits really help uh, in filling up their tummies i hope i have answered your question uh, let's move on to the next question So so the next question is by Mishti she asks how to care of baby's oral hygiene of a teething baby this question has been asked multiple times because uh, i understand that parents are really unaware of how to maintain the oral hygiene of the baby because generally we feel that uh, only the teeth needs to be cleaned however that is not the case Uh, the baby's oral hygiene should be uh, maintained since the child is born i have mentioned this before and i will strongly repeat this again it is very important to maintain the gingival or the gum hygiene uh, for a good eruption of the milk teeth uh, so as soon as the baby is born the gingival cleaning or the uh, gums maintenance should be started 
uh, after every meal intake or the milk intake the parents should make sure that they uh, clean the uh, the gums with a, with cotton and water or a damp uh, cotton cloth and once uh, the teeth have erupted even when the first tooth has erupted the process of brushing should be started uh, the brush and the paste uh, like i mentioned before can be chosen according to the age of the child uh, there are various range of uh, toothpaste available in the market like from 0 to 2 years then 2 year onwards like 2 to 6 and 6 plus so according to the age of the child the toothpaste can be decided by the parents uh, similarly for the toothbrush it the head of the toothbrush should be small so that it fits uh, clearly into the uh, mouth of the baby and it is not big or it is not burdening the child's mouth that the child feels suffocated so the head of the toothbrush should be according to the age of the child so that it is very easy and convenient for the child uh, to brush or uh, there is one brush called as a finger brush which the parent can wear on the finger it has bristles here and the parent can wear the brush on the finger and clean uh, the brush that way they have a good control over the brush and the uh, chances of injury to the baby gums uh, is reduced like big time i hope i've answered your question uh, let's move on to the next one so the next question is by preeti she asks how to calm a teething baby so preeti that's a very good question uh, when the child is teething they happen to become really restless uh, and they show uh, irritable behavior because of the teething problem so what the parents can best do is try to calm them which can be done by uh, see the children have this natural desire to bite on hard objects uh, because they have uh, erupting teeth so there are se several uh, toys teething toys that have been advocated uh, which can be given to the children so that they can uh, bite on them and satisfy the natural desire uh, apart from the teething toys uh, other edible objects such as uh, non-sweetened rusk can be given toasted breads can be given uh, and fruits like apple and guava can be given uh, these uh, things the toys and the edible objects that I've just mentioned, uh, these not only satisfy the desire of the child to bite on hard objects, but they also stimulate the gums, uh, which aids in a painless and a smooth eruption of teeth. Uh, also, one more thing we can do, uh, like when the child is teething, they happen to cry a lot, which help, uh, which uh, results in gulping a lot of air, which leads to colic. So to relieve the colic pain, we can uh, start uh, giving them gripe water, Woodward's gripe water on a regular basis. So at least the problem of colic can be kept aside and uh, the parent can manage other problems which, is, which the child is facing uh, during the time of teething. So I hope I've answered your question. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So the next question is by Rowena. She asks, does teething disrupt sleep? Rowena, sleeplessness and restlessness is a very, very common sign of teething. Not only for the child, but also for the parents, especially the mother, uh, because they are responsible for taking care of the child. Uh, so yes, so what we can do is we just focus on keep the, keeping the baby calm. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous question, how we can calm the baby. Uh, because a happy baby means a happy mummy. I hope I've answered your question. Thank you so much everyone for the lovely questions. I am so delighted to have answered all your questions. Uh, if you have any more questions, I'll be more than happy to answer all of them. Uh, I hope this session was useful to you all. Uh, if any other queries are there, feel free to DM. I'll be more than happy to answer each and every question. So this is me, Dr. Surbi Walia, signing off. Thank you so much.